What is going on guys? My name is Kerbworks and this is my first YouTube video on this channel. I have a bunch of other channels. No, I actually I have one, what the fuck? Okay, so I have another channel which is in the description. You can go see all the rest of my crazy random videos that I post. Uh yeah, that's pretty weird. But on this channel I am playing Kerbal Space Program and what I'm gonna do for this channel for right now is I'm gonna reenact all of the early NASA missions like what you see behind me is a Mercury Redstone with Fersal Kerman standing in the foreground so he'll be flying on the Freedom 7 reenacting Alan Shepard's flight for a 15 minute suborbital flight so are you ready Fersal? okay done 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 Okay, let's just make him run. He's so happy. And that launch complex I made myself, the add-on that I used was FASA, which has the Mercury and the Gemini. So, yeah. Oh, God. So this is my custom launch complex that I've built. And I built them for the Mercury Atlas and the Gemini 2. Uh, and the Gemini. And I haven't done it for any other one yet. So let's go. So I'ma uh, probably do that. The Gemini one, I tried to make like the gantry, like on the actual Gemini it had gantry attraction, but that didn't work out so well. It it went back, but it broke, like, and it didn't look good. So I just decided, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> but for this one, the crew tower, is this swaying? Yes, it is. The crew tower, which I'm standing on, will retract as if it'll just fall fall off the actual thing. And I put lights on and everything, and a big battery pack, which means we have 428 stuff left. Go, go away. Okay. So let's wait until morning. Turn the lights off. Okay, this doesn't have any electric charge at all. Let's wait until the afternoon so that the sun can hit the solar panel here. Uh, okay, there we go. So we can retract the launch tower. Did I do it? No. Wait, I don't think I have enough electric charge. Do I? There's a space bar just not working. Okay then. Guess the space bar doesn't want to work. Oh, I think I need to be full. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, stop. There we go. And there it goes. Whee! And it'll fall off. And just stay there. So, and then we have a little fuel pack here. So we're gonna um, start the engines about three seconds from liftoff. So let's count this down. T minus ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three engine start, two, one, zero, and lift off. We just lift it off from uh, Cape Canaveral with two kids. Yeah, it's going to go for a roll program here. Hopefully, you can hear Should have said the 
escape system after the engine cuts off. And the, and the capsule has a small SF package. done yet okay now and capsule jettison all right goodbye redstone okay so now we have to turn over oops I missed it shoot well I am okay I took I put fine controls on uh, I press caps lock that turns fine controls on let's get this straightened up at about four minutes uh, 32 seconds I think in the actual flight they uh, fired the retro rockets so we're actually gonna try to do that but since everything's scaled down we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to do it a minute earlier I'm not sure we'll just see it's why when you get to about the um, what do you call it uh, apoapsis that we're gonna do it okay what does that say warning hatched Hatch. WF. Open. Okay. I don't know. Oh. Get the rubber down. Oh, we're passing the by International Space Station, that is. Yeah, we're not gonna. So, we can fire the retros now. Dang, we're gonna pass right over my. No. Where is it? Do I do this? I'm pressing a four. Okay then. Oh, it's in front of us now. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Okay, so we can jettison the retrograde package. And let's get into the new opening position. And we'll just ride it out from here. Okay. 68,000 meters. That's meters, right? Yeah. Or kilometers. I don't know. I think it's meters now. It gets to kilometers when, you, uh, when you're out of Earth's atmosphere. I think. I'm not sure. This is really weird. Okay, so at four. And we're starting to go. The ship will automatically go to the green retrograde mark because that's the, um, what do you call it? Since it's heavy from the bottom, I think. I don't know what I'm saying. But you get. It. So we're gonna. Here we go. Here's the heat the friction from the air now and it's gonna turn red for a couple seconds then it'll go away yep there you go and uh, we can decouple that and it'll just fly up it won't hit us when we deploy the parachute it's already going that way see Ooh, sun. at about 3000 we'll oh, um, open the parachute Oh, I did. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, but whatever. Okay. Up oh, there goes the 
video can. Okay, it died. Did it? Oh, no, stop, no. Okay, okay there it goes. I was like, no, don't crash, please. Okay, 5,500 will parachute will be fully opened. There it goes. And we'll just glide down here. Fossil Kerbal has become the first Kerbal in space. But I have an international space station up there. So that's not completely accurate. Okay. So he's become the first Kerbal in space. Reenacting Alan Shepard's Freedom 7 flight. Next will be Gus Grissom's flight Liberty Bell. There it was, Liberty Bell. And... Yeah, and then we're going to do the Mercury Atlas after that. And splash down. Okay, it's uh, a little heavy here, so that's why it's turned over like that. And whew, we can turn it over like that, but it won't stay for very long. It'll just turn over again. Alright, so that's... Alan Shepard's reenacted flight in Kerbal Space Pro Program. Next is Liberty Bell 7. I'll see you guys later.